Hey guys, just to let you know you will not be seeing this copy of Need for Speed Carbon in this pickup video, apart from at this moment. That is because I have sold it. It cost me $7 and I managed to get $18 for it, so that's that. my house bidding you welcome I had a really good week of pickups this week so not going to uh, put it off any longer we're just gonna go straight into the pickups and you guys can see what I got so just as you can see from me going right to left <laughs> this was a really really good week got a lot of good stuff and I got some stuff that I've been looking for for a really really long time so Definitely good to uh, strike some of this stuff off the list. I will do chronological order as I always do. I actually managed to get out quite a bit this week for going out video game hunting, so I think that's what I will attest to. Um, I think that's what I will attest to my finds that I was able to actually get out. So let's start. First off, went to my local cash converters in Indra Pilly. Don't remember what day this is, but yeah, I don't remember what day, but I managed to get some DVDs there. I managed to get those there as well. That was another day. I managed to get these DVDs all for a good price. We have the Muppet Show Season 1, a four disc set. I feel bad in saying I have never ever seen a single episode of the Muppet Show. But this seems like a good start, and it's actually got a nice cover. Um, It's actually like felt, so it feels pretty nice. We have the complete first season of Flight of the Bleh, Flight of the Concords. This I cannot speak today. This series is so funny. It's about a couple of New Zealand blokes who go over to America and try and make it as um, musicians. It's really funny. If you remember a few weeks ago, I got these on VHS. Now I have them on DVD. Russell Coit's All All the Adventures. And these are really good. Fleet Series 1 and 2, the full coit. And this is just a, um, it's like a parody of all of those Bushman shows that you used to see. It's just really funny. Nothing ever goes right for this guy. Like, he'll try and be fishing and the fish will take his rod or something. It's, it's solid comedy. Polar Express with Tom Hanks. I grabbed this one, just because I haven't seen it in a while. I remember seeing this as a kid in cinemas, actually, back in, like, 2005. I was like 10 years old when this came out, god damn. But uh, yeah, good to get it. I'll watch it at some point. And the Miracle on 34th Street Double Pack. This comes with the original and the remake. That was a lot of time between the original and the remake. See, that almost 50 years, but yeah. Pretty crazy though. I haven't seen the original, I've seen the, um,. The remake quite a few times. I used to watch it as a kid. And I had another movie that I bought there, The Princess Bride, but my mum grabbed it from me because she wants to watch it. Alright, next up. I went down to uh, Fortitude Valley, and I went to the cash converters, went to uh, you know, all the local pawnbrokers and op shops there. And unfortunately I didn't really find much. I mean, I think I might... Oh, what's going on here? I don't like filming on my phone, it never focuses on anything. 
It's always refocusing. I don't know how to fix it. But I think I might stop going to this area quite so much. I've been trying to get there once a week, and I just I haven't really been finding anything there, as you can tell. I mean, the, the cash converters there used to be really good, because they used to price all their games at either $4 or $2 each. But now they're kind of pricing them all over the place. They're kind of pricing them at online prices, which is, it's fine for them. I mean, if they make money on them, if they make a lot of money on them, that's fine. But, I mean, they've had the same stuff for a few weeks, and it's good stuff, but it's not moving, and it's just the same prices. So I go in, I see what's there, and it's like, eh, it's good stuff, but, I mean, I'm not looking to spend $40 on a copy of... Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. I'm looking for deals, you know? But, they did have some new stuff in. Managed to find this. Namco, what is this called? I'm reading this through the camera. Gotta wait for it to focus. Negcon, or something like that. It's a racing controller. And it's super, super hard to use. Um, if I can, um, where can I put the camera? Crotch vision. Controls like this, which is just kind of weird. I tried it out, the buttons all feel nice, but it just feels kind of weird to be turning like that. Something that you really got to get used to, but it was $5, so I was like, yeah, I'll grab it. I'm always looking for unique controllers. And I picked up more DVDs there than I am video games, which is unfortunate. But we have Fearless. A Jet Li movie, his last, uh, I think it was one of his last films, he doesn't really do films anymore, except for, um, except for that one where it's like all of the, uh, except for the one where it's all of the people, the big action stars, and I don't remember the name of it, but yeah, Fearless, I saw this in cinema as well with my brother, my brother and my half-brother, my brother from another mother, literally, but yeah, it's a great movie. Really good. Definitely check it out if you haven't seen it. Alright. I can actually give you a time frame for the rest of this stuff. This stuff was found on Friday. This stuff was found on Sunday. So, start with the Friday stuff. After I finished work, I decided, you know what, I'm going to go down to uh, Goodna. Because it's only a few train stops away. Oh, I have a new job. Just thought I'd throw that out there. <laughs> Like, a lot of people know I work in a restaurant, but I don't anymore. Now nah, I'm doing warehouse work. Again. <laughs> but, yeah. Found stuff in Waycall. Some good stuff. I think I might start hitting up Waycall more often again. But, stopped the cash converters first and found this bad boy. Animal Crossing Wild World. This is actually a bootleg copy of the DS game. But it was only $3. And I thought, yeah, I'll grab it. Just for fun. I love that it says USA edition, if that will focus. Will it ever? Kinda. Whatever, you get the idea. It says USA version to cover up that it's a bootleg. I don't care. I already have this game in my collection, so I just wanted it for the sake of having it again. You know, I like bootlegs, I think they're really fun. Let's grab this game, Counter-Strike, which I may or may not have on the original Xbox. No, I had it years ago as a kid, but I don't know if I have it anymore. I have it now. Three bucks. Good deal. Good game, too. Plays a lot on the original Xbox. Never had an Xbox Live Gold account, so I just play the uh, bots over and over. I got pretty good at it, though. And this one, which I've never seen or heard of before, but it looks really cool. World War Zero by Rebellion, and published by Microids. Or well, maybe it was published by Rebellion, and I don't know. I only know Rebellion as a game developer. But three bucks. I really like games that have you... I really like games that are set in, like, um... Alternate versions of World War Two and stuff like that. You know, stuff like Resistance and whatnot. I just think they're really cool. And this one is about, um... This one is about if the... The First World War went on for like 50 years instead of just five, and I think that's a really cool idea for a game. Like the entire world is purged into chaos because of this war. But yeah, it looks really good. 
Can't wait to try it out. Probably try it out as soon as I finish this video, actually, because I don't have work today. I'm on call right now. So if the video cuts off, you know where I'll be. But, um, yeah, it looks really good, and I think it's a PAL exclusive. Couldn't find this on, um, eBay for America, so maybe a PAL exclusive, so suck it, USA people. And yeah, you saw this at the beginning of the video. Ooh, yeah. It has been so, so long since I came across a good lot of PlayStation 1 games. And I came across this lot, and I thought, yes! Finally, some new PlayStation 1 games to add to my collection. Looks like some quality titles. And I looked through it, and I got a little bit disheartened because I had all of them already. And I even have these two. But this was in the... I think it's a lifeline. Might be a St. Vincent de Paul. I don't remember. Might be an Australian Red Cross. They all are very similar. Ooh! We have an op shop opening near me. It is a St. Vincent de Paul op shop? No. I don't remember what it was. No way it was a Salvation Army. It's opening near me on the 12th of May, so I'm going to do a video game hunt and video for the opening of that store. So get fucking hyped, people. Video game hunting returns one time only. But I'm trying to get back into it just because I know you people like it. You people. <laughs> like, I'm not trying to speak for everyone, but, like, I'm, I'm pretty sure people that watch my videos like my video game hunting stuff as well. You don't like my cooking vlog, though. I'm holding you guys against that, but... <laughs> let's talk about the games. Yeah, there are a bunch of PlayStation 1 games in this op shop. A lot of good ones, but... They are ones that I already had, and for $5 each, I didn't want to go crazy with them. Just because, like, if I pick up a bunch of them and they're not worth anything, then... Yeah, I'm just stuck on them. I can't get rid of them, I can't give them away. But these ones, I knew were worth over $5, I was like, yeah, I'll pick these up. And it's possible that these two are in better condition than my copies, so... Possibly getting an upgrade of... Tactical Espionage Action! Metal Gear Solid! The PlayStation 1. And I'm pretty sure my copy doesn't have the manual, so... Whoa, wrong side there. There we go. Pretty sure my copy doesn't have the manual, so... Whoa, I got a text. Not right now, buddy. Pretty sure my copy doesn't have the manual, so that's going to be a good upgrade, and if anybody wants my other copy, it's in good condition, let me know. Same thing with this game, I don't know if my copy has the manual or not, so for five bucks I thought I'll grab Abe's Odyssey, and uh, we will see what happens. If worst comes to worst, and I already have these, I'll just throw them online. Now, I'll throw them online super cheap, I'll probably do like 10 for Abe, 15 for Metal Gear Solid, you know, I'm not looking to make crazy amounts of money on these. But finally, sorry for that burp, I went to Cash Easy. Not Cash Converters, Cash Easy. That was a very loud car. But yeah, Cash Easy, they were having a sale on their DVDs. All $3 DVDs were now $2 each, so I thought I'd bite the bullet and grab some ones that I was interested in. We have the Rocky Horror Picture Show. 25th, bleh, 25th anniversary, two-disc set. Pretty cool looking. I've never seen Rocky Horror Picture Show, but I know there are people who are like super fans in this. Like whenever it comes to cinemas, they like dress up and go and see it. And they can quote it backwards and forwards. So I thought for two bucks, I'll watch it. Raging Bull, I did have this one, but with my DVDs, I'm constantly getting rid of them. So, you know, it's weird. But for two dollars, I thought I'd grab it back. It's supposed to, I know it's a really good movie. Robert De Niro gives a classy performance in this. And 1408, which looked like a somewhat decent horror movie. I like Samuel L. Jackson. He's in a lot of movies, but I do like him. So let's see. Alright. Main event time, fellas. Main fucking event. Sorry for the swearing, but this is pretty amazing. I saw this stuff first. On Sunday, I went to the market, and as I was going through the aisles, I was kind of seeing there wasn't really anything to find. I mean, there was 
a bunch of Xbox sports titles, a bunch of PlayStation 2 sports titles, and I was like, man, I'm not finding anything. Like, I'm just finding scraps. Did someone beat me to this? And I eventually found out that, yeah, someone beat me to it. And he's a vendor, so... <laughs> I mean, what luck can I really get? I mean, he's going to be hitting that stuff up before I can ever even get to it, so whatever. But I bought from him, though. He gave me great deals. I bought this from another seller, though. Multi-tap for PlayStation 2. Person had marked at 15 down from 35 and then I got it for 5 because it was in a box, and it said $5 on the box. So I was like, hey, it's 5 bucks, Yeah. So I just grabbed it. Um, I have a multi-tap already, but, like, in the box, I'm not going to pass up for five bucks, even if it is in, like, kind of dirty condition. I can clean that up. But, this vendor, he told me he was a collector. He was selling off some of his doubles and trying to thin out his collection of some of the stuff he didn't play. And, like, I respect that. That's cool. And even if he is, like, a reseller, he's cool by me because he's given some pretty great deals. I mean, I'll show that one last... I, it was the kind of thing where you had to hold up the game and ask him how much it was and he'd give you a price on it. So I was a bit hesitant. I decided, you know what, I'll grab one that I know I've been looking for and ask on a price for it. And if it's kind of high, I'll just leave. I don't need it. But I asked on this copy of Shinobi for the PlayStation 2 and he said, uh, 10 bucks, it's a fun game. And I'm like, yeah, it is, that's a pretty good price. I'll, I'll grab it for 10 bucks. You know, 10 bucks is kind of the high end of what I'd pay for a PlayStation 2 game, but considering I've been looking for this one since I started collecting, and I've just never found it for under 20, I thought 10 bucks, that's a good enough deal for me, man. And it is complete. It's in my console at the moment. Played about an hour of it. Very fun. Crazy good. You really feel like a ninja playing that game. Also held up this one, Gungrave. I have, the fir I have the second Gungrave game, so I needed the first one in my collection. They're fun. They are really, really fun, actually. I think this is based off of a anime series. I'm not sure on that. I've never seen an episode. I know there's an anime series called Gungrave. It might be completely different, but that one's also complete as well. I trusted that this guy was a collector selling off his doubles because like, all of his games are in really nice shape. Like, um, he actually did a transaction while I was a bought a PlayStation 2 and, like, a bunch of bad games for 55 bucks. I think he got a pretty bad deal on that, actually, but, hey, is what it is. He didn't seem like the best, um, what do you call it? Like, a haggler? I guess that would be the right word? I don't know. Not to disrespect him or anything, it's like, don't mean to do that. He had good prices, and... He had some games there that I've just never seen before. He had, uh, had like every Nintendo 64 game you could want. He had like Ocarina of Time, Majora's Mask, all the Mario's and all that. He had Ogre Battle 64, man. I wanted that game, but I was like, man, I knew he'd put a high price on it, and I wasn't, I wasn't going to be willing to pay whatever he would want. He had a lot of really good games. He had all the systems too. Everything was nice and clean and good looking. And he said, if any of them don't work, bring them back. And these all do work, so very happy. And he had a copy of Mega Man Legends there, which he was asking, um, I think 50 bucks on, which is pretty good for Mega Man Legends. And he pointed out a copy of Legend of Dragoon there. And it was, it was complete, but it was in like a rental case. He was asking 70 bucks on it, which is, you know, for an Australian copy of Legend of Dragoon, that's a really, really good price. But I'm not really looking to spend that kind of money, and I made that clear with him. I was like, I, I bring 40 bucks to the market whenever I come, and I usually just blow it on stuff, so, you know. He understood that. He, he could respect that. But he had a $10 bin full of stuff, and I found this in there, Light Crusader, and I was like, huh. He's going to want 10 bucks for this. I was like, hey, is this 10 bucks?" He said, yep. I'm like, all right, I'll take it. <laughs> like Crusader, look it up for yourself. Mega Drive copy of this, pretty darn expensive, even if the uh, label is kind of messed up. Did the label of this never have the, um, the name of the game on it? That's weird. Like, there's enough 
there of the label that you would be able to see some kind of lettering, so maybe it didn't. Whatever. This was nice and... This was clean in here, but not like on there or there. You know, he said he bought this in a lot somewhere, and it was just like, yeah, I don't really want to clean it. I've got a complete copy at home, so I'll just get this one out cheap. And I tested this in my Retron 5. Works well. Fun game. It's a good RPG. It's a bit like a Diablo, kinda. It's like Diablo, but you're in, like, rooms instead of, like, exploring an open world. It's fun, though. It's good. And yeah, 10 bucks for that. That's a really, really good deal for this. I mean, complete copies, I mean, you can check what they go for. And, speaking of great deals, man, shout out to my mother. After the market, she asked me, do you want to go to Indrapilla Shopping Center? And I said, yeah, sure. I'll go to Cash Converters. And because I only found uh, these DVDs at Cash Converters the last time I was there, which was a few days ago, I thought, I probably won't find anything else, but, you know, it's worth a check. And I went in, and they hadn't put these out yet. They had a milk carton full of Xbox 360 and original Xbox games, some really good 360 titles. They had the uh, Skyrim, had the Skyrim Legendary thing, which had all the DLC in it for seven bucks. That's a really good deal if you're looking for it. But, you know, I don't have a 360 anymore, so I don't really buy them anymore. But they had original Xbox games, and I picked a few up, and I was like, "These are sealed. These are fucking sealed. These are brand new." These are in the wrapper. They are brand new. Never been played. And the person who was... There was a guy at the counter who was like, Oh, who looks for original Xbox games anymore? <laughs> like, I swear to God, you couldn't make this stuff up. He was saying, Who looks for original Xbox games anymore? And, like, the woman at the counter said, Oh, you'd be surprised. And, you know, I got all of these, and he missed out. So, you know, shows what he knows. He picked up some Blu-rays, I think. But the only one that wasn't sealed was this one, and this is one I'm really wanting to try out. Silent Hill for the room, five bucks. Not sealed, but in really good condition. I'll definitely be trying this one out later. And the rest of these are brand new. They all have the... They have either the wrapper on them, or at the very least they have the security tag on them, so... I'm confident in saying that these are brand new. I don't think these are like a home job or anything. You know, there are some great titles in here. We have Star Wars, Knights of the Old Republic 2 for five bucks. Brand new! I never see brand new games. Like, I don't know if because it's like, um, I don't know, it's not like sealed like a PlayStation 2 game is, or it has like a uh, security tag running along it, but it has... The Xbox things, like, I'm confident that they are brand new. I hope so. <laughs> we have Star Wars, Republic Commando, brand new. And this one has a previous price on it for 10 bucks from somewhere else. I got it for 5 One that I've been looking for forever. Shenmue 2, baby. Brand new! Sealed! <laughs> I'm excited for this. I love these. Five bucks. Dead or Alive Ultimate. I have this game, but I thought brand new and sealed. I just cannot leave it there for five bucks. Jade Empire also sealed. Um, I texted Andy and he wanted this one, but I was grabbing this one for myself. This is the only one that I'm not sure if I can say it's sealed, just because like it's got a little bit of the wrapper missing, but I don't know. Let me know if it's sealed or not. If you would consider it sealed. I do already have this game, so I'm not sure what I'm going to be doing with this one. I don't know, we'll see. We have one, another one that I've been looking for for a long, long time. Project Zero, based on a true story. Like, every horror movie is based on a true story, right? <laughs> but yeah, I really wanted to get this one too. For five bucks, that's a great, great deal. This game goes for so much money sealed. It's like, um, I don't know what I'm going to do with these. I don't want to sell them. I kind of don't want to keep them because I'm not a person who collects sealed games. I also don't want to open them because, like, um, <laughs> like, I don't know how many sealed copies of Project Zero there are out there. And I mean, 
I know it's easy to say, oh, it's a, it's a game, it's meant to be played, open it, but it's like, when you actually have it in your hands, and it's brand new, it's like, I don't know what I want to do, man. It's like, I'm a gamer, but I'm also a collector. So, I don't know. I grabbed these two for Andy, because he wanted them. Mech Assault 2, Lone Wolf, five bucks again, brand new and sealed, man. That's so good. I have this game, it's good. And finally, in that lot of sealed games, there were a lot more, but I did not want to uh, completely destroy any kind of budget I had. For five bucks, Sudeki sealed again. Awesome. Sorry if it sounds like I'm boasting, I don't mean to do that, but it's like, they're brand new! I've never come across this many brand new games, ever! But yeah, man. Five bucks each for these, brand new and sealed. That's probably the best lot I've ever gotten, apart from like when I got a Super Nintendo lot back in like 2011. So I was like, yeah, I'm excited, I'm happy, this is really good. But yeah, we'll do a closing shot for this and we will end the video. So uh, I had to think about it and I kind of, I realized what I want to do now. For those sealed games, for all of those sealed games, I want to give them away to you guys. It's like I also want to kind of get something back. Like, um, if it's, if I'm giving one you guys a sealed game and I already have a open copy of it, then you can just have it for the price I paid. Like, Knights of the Old Republic 2, you can have that for five bucks plus shipping if you wanted. You know, I'd rather just go to a sealed game collector who's really going to appreciate them than me who's just going to um and ah about them until I eventually put them on the shelf. But, um, if it's for a game that I don't already have, so, like, I don't have Shenmue 2 yet unopened, but I have it sealed now, so if there's a collector out there who wants the game sealed, then I would like to get a unsealed copy of the game in return. And I think that's fair. Like, um... You're really getting a good deal on that because, like, a sealed copy of the game is worth way more than an opened copy. And at the end of the day, I am more interested in playing the game. So I'll actually show you guys what they were again. These ones, all of them except for Project Zero and Five, or all of them except for Project Zero and Shenmue Two, you can have for five dollars plus shipping. But for Project Zero and Shenmue 2, if someone would like either of them, I would like to get a, a open copy in return for them, and I think that's more than fair. Alright, so this is Seek of My House bidding you farewell. Uh, definitely let me know what you thought of all of that in the comments below. I'm very happy with it. Regardless, this is a very good episode, probably the best I've done since Bookfest, which was at the beginning of the year. And we have another Bookfest coming up in... Uh, I think June, so get hyped. Get hyped for all of it. I'm very happy, and I'll see you guys next time. See you at my house, bidding you farewell. And that's all, folks.